You know, I, I put this out on Twitter and I was kind of surprised that um, that it didn't, well, it got some traction. I was more surprised at the reaction that it got than anything else because I really think that uh, people genuinely start to see um, more than what I see. And all I simply said was that if you look at it objectively, I think that there are only six teams right now that can win the Super Bowl. Six. Three from the NFC, three from the AFC. From the NFC, it's really easy. Philadelphia, Dallas, and San Fran. That's it. Minnesota's defense is really problematic. Um, and uh, their offense at times shuts down. And again, oh, by the way, Philadelphia, Dallas, and San Francisco are the only teams in the NFC with a positive point differential greater than a touchdown and a two-point conversion. That's it. There are 16 teams in the NFC. 13 of them, okay, or I should say uh, 11 of them have negative point differentials. The Detroit Lions have a plus two with one of the worst defenses in the league, and the Seahawks have a plus eight with one of the worst defenses in the league. Two of those teams also have two of the highest scoring offenses in the league. Make of that what you will. Viking, sorry. Can't win that many close games and expect to do it in the playoffs three times in a row. So, no, I don't think you can win a Super Bowl. And obviously nobody from the NFC South is. So, those are your teams in the NFC that can win a Super Bowl. Your teams in the AFC, well, we know. Buffalo, Kansas City, and the Cincinnati Bengals. It's no coincidence that those three teams have the highest point differential uh, in the AFC right now as well. And that's not the only barometer I'm using. Trust me, guys, it's not. Um, clearly, Buffalo and Kansas City are the two lead horses. Why the Bengals and not the Ravens? You've seen the way the Bengals have played lately? They've won five in a row, covered five in a row too as well, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, their defense is getting better each and every week. They are uh, very sound when it comes to their offensive philosophy. And their quarterback is fantastic. You know, the Ravens got a good quarterback too, but he's hurt. And no one knows if he's going to come back, when he's going to come back. And not only that, the Ravens have snuck by with way too many close wins over the past couple of weeks against inferior teams for me to believe that they were going to be able to pull it off in the playoffs. Sure, the Ravens have nine wins. Sure, they have won. You ready for this? Hmm. Six of their last seven. Let's run through the quarterbacks they've beaten. Jacoby Brissett. Tom Brady is pretty darn good, but that's about the only one. Andy Dalton, stinks. P.J. Walker, stinks. Trevor Lawrence, blah. That's the game they actually lost, by the way. Russell Wilson, blah. Mitch Trubisky, stinks. They haven't played a legitimate quarterback since they beat Joe Burrow back in week five. They lost to a legitimate quarterback in uh, Josh Allen. They lost to a legitimate quarterback in Tua Tagovailoa. And they're not going to play another legitimate quarterback, really, until they face the Bengals in the regular season finale. Now, they'll play uh, Deshaun Watson this week, but it's not the regular Deshaun Watson. We know that he's not there yet. Beyond all that, when you play in the playoffs, when you're going to go through the AFC playoffs and you're going to see in successive rounds the idea of Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and Josh Allen, you ain't beating those teams. You're not beating all three of those teams. You might be one of them. You ain't beating all three. So, no, the Ravens can't win a Super Bowl. Only six teams can win the Super Bowl this year, folks. That's it. Place your bets accordingly. Do it now. There, there's there's really not an argument I could make for anybody else today. Honestly, they could do it. Could Miami do it? No, their defense is way too problematic. Now, could they get hot enough, and do they have the right quarterback? Probably. If I had to flip a coin and say who would win it more likely, the Ravens or the Dolphins, I would only go with the Ravens based off of playoff experience and based off of – the fact that they have a head coach that's gotten there and done it already. But there's really nobody else in the AFC that you could remotely trust, and certainly nobody in the NFC. I mean, the Lions might be a nice story if they get to the postseason, and I probably think they will at this point. But, come on. They're not good enough to beat Philadelphia, Dallas, and San Francisco in succession. They're just not. They were barely good enough to beat the Vikings. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't it, – it's just the landscape uh, this year. You've gotten six teams that have separated themselves from everybody else in this league, and everybody else is just chasing. No, I don't give the Chargers much of a chance. I, they, they can't stop the run, period. 
And Tennessee's defense is absolutely fantastic, but their offense is just awful. It's flat out awful. So, you know, they, they have they have nothing offensively that's gonna scare anybody. Like I said, make your bets accordingly. Those are the teams that can likely win the Super Bowl this year. And again, I thought I was going to be met with more consternation on the Twitters about it. Um, but most people tend to agree. It's pretty obvious at this point in time. You know, it's, it's pretty legit that uh, one of those six teams is going to do it. If you have another one, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know. Because, uh, yeah. I'd love to hear you. I'd love to hear you think and do it outside of them. I don't see it. I genuinely, genuinely don't. So the NFL has been really weird this year. It has. I mean, it's, it's, uh, we had so many teams this year at the beginning of the year be better than we thought they were going to be the giants and the Seahawks. You know, uh, you had teams like again, green Bay and Tampa and the Rams who have struggled all year long. Like, it's not even like those teams are 500, they, they are at 500 and struggling. They're, Below 500 and struggling. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. So much so that Aaron Rodgers might not play the rest of this year. I mean, Green Bay, although they mathematically still have a shot at the playoffs, but Rodgers might end up, you know, just hanging it up for here for a little bit. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see um, where this goes. And that's why, you know, not to look too far ahead, but you got a situation where um, you got a situation where Cowboys and Eagles are going to play each other on Christmas Eve. It's going to be a hell of a game, by the way. And um, that's going to be that's going to be very much a, a deciding game for home field advantage, probably throughout the NFC playoffs. San Francisco could get there, but they're going to need help. They're going to need a decent amount of help to overtake both those teams, especially with the Eagles sitting at 12 and 1. Even the Cowboys are going to need help because they're going to play them once, but they need them to lose again from somebody else before the end of the year. So um, it's, it's sort of the Eagles seed to lose. All right. um, Before we get to uh, major league baseball free agency and what is left, of course, I want to remind you to take a look at the locked on Falcons podcast every day. Appreciate you making that your first listen for your next listen. Check out the locked on sports today podcast, biggest stories of the day, plus instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day it's available on the Odyssey app, YouTube, and wherever you get your podcast. 